Hey guys, Rock here with another World of Warplanes video. This time we're doing a breakdown of a replay submitted by Porkins Jr. He uploaded this in the forums asking for thoughts and critique about it, so I'm going to do a little bit of a breakdown here. Right off the bat, as far as uh, you look at the team compositions here, Porkins is in an IL-2T. He's the only tier 6 in the whole game. And his side has three GAs, the other side has two, and they've got Basically, they don't have too many real high flyers or big heavy hitter threats. So in a lot of ways, this is pretty much like winning the matchmaker lottery. Uh, right off the bat, we start down the eastern side here. And I really don't disagree with this decision too much. I mean, you're uh, set up going toward the ships down here to make an approach toward this target area here. And although that's often a little bit advantageous to try to gather up with the team first, when you're the uh, top tier like that, sometimes you also need to kind of play, you know, Pied Piper and start showing guys, you know, hey guys, this way, follow me. So I don't really disagree with that decision. Uh, however, I do notice that, I mean, we're still flying at a very high level here, 723 meters. Um, and if you're in a GAA especially, it's important to take advantage of the uh, camo bonus that occurs when you start getting down below 200 meters. So we're making a high altitude approach, and then we begin engaging, like he's, we're firing again already, at 1,800 meters. That's a, about 1,000 meters or so before you're actually going to do any good. And firing your guns also breaks your camo for a few seconds. So we're flying higher than we need to be to make ourselves uh, harder to observe, and we're firing too, so they aren't real good. And that kind of comes into play here in a second. So. I... I do kind of like the decision actually to start engaging this target set out here in the east because it allows us, it sets up the approach on the uh, warship we make here next, so that's okay. Now notice here, this guy is flying in, he's probably spotted you now because we're firing in, we're high. So, notice that. We do turn here to engage this warship set, and there's a bad guy coming in here who begins engaging it. A couple things here. Uh, one, notice that this uh, other friendly uh, FW-189 is engaging the same target set, and so uh, you run a risk of a friendly fire or a collision here. And also, you're taking fire now from this IL-2 mod and not even dodging. The, uh, our friendly has just dropped all four of his bombs right here, so we're getting near to that, and we're also, we've just given up 130 hit points by not dodging the fire, or the incoming fire from the IL-2 mod. So uh, we've given up, basically donated a whole lot of hit points there, and our friendly has dropped his ordnance there and taken that warship, so it's kind of wound up being a waste of an effort. So just stay aware, try to deconflict your efforts with those of your teammates, and, you know, of course, dodge and come and fire. Now, we've got that IL-2 mod behind us now, and that's a threat back there. In many circumstances, I would say you would want to kind of turn around and try to deal with that threat a little bit first before moving on. However, you are the top tier. There is a uh, FW-189 back there that can work on that guy. So, yeah, okay, our, our decision to continue on here and move through the target area. I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. That was also a very close, very late rocket there. You ran a lot of risk of uh, damaging yourself with your own rocket. I uh, gotta remember to watch for those. Oh, something else I forgot to mention already. The uh, notice we have these gray bands here behind our ammunition. That means we're running standard ammo. Standard ammo is just not the best thing to use. Um, it is the cheapest, but anything else you'll do more damage with. And if you do more damage, you earn more credits. And if you do more damage, you're more likely to win. And if you win, you earn more credits. If you run a premium ammo of some kind, you're more likely to win and more likely to earn more. Um, it is one thing in an IL-2T, uh, maybe you're using this for a credit grinder, so you're just you know running the cheapest thing possible, okay. But in general, it's wisest to run at least incendiary ammunition. It helps set things on fire and do more damage. On my IL-2T, I like to run incendiary on these uh, the 762s and then HE on the 37s just to help do more damage to stuff, especially at range. So that's something to consider. Now we're moving through here. <clears throat> we're continuing to the west, and we get a fighter on our tail who is kind of starting to work on us. That's a P-36. And we're boosting away from him and escaping. That's, for the most part, a good decision. 
However, here's something to look at. Um, you don't use your mouse, like I, I'll, I'll use it here, we don't use our mouse look to look around and see what that thread is. And we also, you can use your X key to switch to the uh, nearest aerial target, just so if nothing else, you can get him to appear down here in the window so you can see things like uh, his range, whether you're uh, moving away from him or whether he's closing on you. But watch this. I mean, your tail gunner is just shredding him, and we're running away, running away. If uh, you'd slow it up a little or save a little more of your boost, uh, 10 more seconds of gun time, your tail gunner not probably kills him. So that's just something to watch for, too. Moving in here, engaging the uh, warship, taking out the AA first, that's great. Uh, pretty much exactly how to do it. And then we engage the next warship, same thing. Take out those guns first, and then usually what you want to do is focus your fire on this center block here. That's the keel. If you blow that one up most, almost all the time, basically the ship's just going to break in half, and the whole thing will die suddenly, so that's something to keep in mind. And then we drop our bomb here. Good. Uh, good use of bombs. You're, wow. That was a little closer than maybe you'd want to get. Uh, notice our, our team situation has deteriorated here a lot. And we can't really afford to lose an ally. So you kind of want to limit the amount of risks you're taking here now. Because if you die, your team almost certainly loses. Loop around again here, engage this uh, warship, good, I like it. And that's a place where I would have liked to use a rocket too, but hey, that's okay. Bomb is good enough and it does the job more than well enough, and it also, you know, we get rid of that weight from your plane. So now the rest of our team has died, and things are getting tough here now. We have a slight supremacy advantage, but not much of one, and we're down 3 to 1. So we kind of have to begin making things happen. So we're killing off more ground targets. Great. Good rocket. That's a much better standoff there, much less uh, risk of damaging yourself. That's a great way to do it. speed through this some a little because we're just engaging targets here. Yep. Uh, and notice, yeah, good use again, taking out the AA first and then look at the rest of them. Oh, let's go back and look at that a second. Didn't mean to speed through that part, excuse me. And please excuse the uh, blackout delay here, that's just the way the game client works when you uh, try to rewind a bit. So, okay, we're approaching this warship again, taking out the AA, good, focusing on the rest of the targets next, and once again here, when we're clearing this warship, real close, you cleared that spar by, oh, maybe a foot. Um, that's another place where, again, we at high risk of crash when, uh, you know, it's a certain loss if you crash. Um, I would have pulled off a little sooner and a little more carefully. Uh, just something to watch for. So again here, we're hitting more targets, doing more damage. We are, we do have that uh, big 32 point battleship there that's got really strong AA. And so yes, good, we do decide to move and attack that. Now notice here, you are trying to hit the AA there. The AA is firing at you, but if you watch down here in the window, you see you're not doing any damage to the AA when you're engaging it. And that's kind of because uh, the AA, even though it's it's dumb, it, it's stupid, it's allowed to fire at you, it's actually behind the superstructure of the ship on the other side there. And you can't fire through that, so we're kind of wasting our bullets. If you see that you're firing at something and it's not blinking, you're not doing damage to it, it means there's something you know blocking your fire. So it, it's better to switch to another target set at that point. But, so, okay. We do pull up under this P-36, good, you know, engage that threat that's coming in. I don't like that we kind of stick in the engagement a little longer than we probably should at a high risk of a ram. He is a tier 4 and he's a fighter and you're a tier 6 uh, ground attack, so you're probably going to weather that better than he is. And, however, you know, it's risking giving up even more hit points and, you know, you've got the last hit points on the team. So you don't want to risk giving up any more of those then you have to, especially unnecessarily. As it turns out, you do wind up colliding with him and you clip his 
he clips your wing, so you give up just about no hit points. But that was really kind of luck more than anything. But anyhow, we do that. Take down a fighter, take a, another threat out of the fight, and pick up some more supremacy points here. So now things are turning in our favor, and that's good. And now we do have the IL-2 mod coming in again. Um, I would have liked to see you break a little sooner here, but there is a little good point there of, you know, getting those rockets and getting some more points on the board. But we can't just ignore somebody on a tail like that either. Good use of rockets, spending them, take down another warship. But again, we're, we're kind of getting a little preoccupied with the ground targets here now. And we're just flying along, giving up hit points, giving up hit points, giving up hit points and not really even paying much attention to what the range is on that threat behind us. At this point, I think it was a mistake to be engaging this target set here. You've already got considerable supremacy advantage, it's not going to give you anything, and you're giving up a lot of hit points just to pick up four points and a small reset. So that's something to keep in mind. We do turn on this guy here, and... You've got that super tail gunner skill, obviously, and the long reach, too. You're doing some good damage on him. And we've taken out most of the AA here, so we can kind of afford to spend a little time playing around. But again, we're getting low on hit points. We don't want to be playing... that was close. That was almost a draw. But we don't want to give up hit points when we don't have to, and we need to kind of maximize the ones we have left. And again, the same thing again. We've got a threat behind us. I would be saying you should probably be ignoring the uh, ground targets at this point. They're not doing you much more good. You've even already got your thunder. I would have started making the escape here a little sooner. But you do make a great decision here, and that you turn and go up the uh, gulch here. And uh, this way it makes it just harder for him to hit you, and you can begin making your escape and trying to survive. I might not have tried to fly under this here, but it's something where, you know, skill or if you know the aircraft well, you can go ahead and pull off. It does serve to just basically give you some cover for a minute and make him have to break off. So that, uh, that worked out well there. So now he's lost visibility of us. We're making our escape to the north here. And he's far away again. And that tail gunner is just, uh, I mean, he's barely getting anything off of you. I would have liked to see you kind of dodge and juke a little bit more because you are giving up more hit points. And again, we have very few to spare at this point. But uh, he is getting pretty far back there. So we're coming out of the canyon here. Again, good use of the terrain to help uh, facilitate your escape. And, uh, well, that's how you want it. So there you go. There are my thoughts on it. Uh, if anyone else has any thoughts, please be sure to uh, post them to the uh, forum thread to let you know. I am a, yeah, I'd like to think I'm a pretty good player, but I'm not really much of an expert at ground attack aircraft. So if anyone has any uh, comments or corrections, uh, you can post them in the comments below or on the forum thread. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Good hunting. See you next time.